For those of you that missed this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what's been happening. The group speaks with the proprietor of the Fisherman's Tale, a centaur named Heron, and he tells them that the priest's name is Saris Moore, and that <clears throat> he has indeed cured a child of Mirid's kiss. After renting the group some rooms, he informs them that the bard playing in the back knows the child. The bard says his name is Billy and says that the child is the son of his brother's friend and has been cured and has been for weeks. Everyone but Oz retired to their rooms for the night. Oz is confronted by the few town locals and a fight ensues. After taking a few hits, Oz becomes enraged. This time, something is different. A surge of power flows through his body, transforming him into a female form. The fight is over, and Oz, not understanding what has happened, runs off into the night. After a few hours pass, Bishop walks the town of Paris Folly to get the lay of the land. Some locals and their children find Bishop fascinating, and the kids playing remind him of Luna and his home. Oz, now in female form, finds Bishop in the town square and approaches him. Startled by Oz's change, he does accept Oz's explanation of something strange happening in his town, and he suggests they go to the temple now rather than wait until the rest of the group wakes up. Entering the temple, Oz and Bishop were greeted by the priest Saris. Cyrus explains that after some experimentation, he has found the cure for Mirid's kiss, but its ingredients are extremely dangerous to get. Bishop asks to examine the child <clears throat> that had been cured, and Cyrus agrees and tells him that the child and his family should be there momentarily. Bishop questions why Cyrus hasn't shared this knowledge of the cure with any of the other temples, and is told that Paris Folly doesn't want any unwanted attention from the rest of the world. He does agree that if the group gets him his ingredients, he will make the cure for Luna and Hugh. The boy arrives, and with permission of the parents, Bishop is allowed to examine him. All the signs of Mirror's kiss are noticeable, and the healing effects are there. The boy has somehow been cured. The examination is interrupted by some commotion outside. Marsland, Jade, and Gwynton wake up to find Oz and Bishop missing. Deciding to head to the temple after a brief search, of the temple that was the original plan. Bishop and Oz find that some town folk have been attacked by some of the local wildlife and begin to defend them. During the fight, Bishop is almost rendered unconscious by an unknown force, and a third creature appears. Hearing the commotion, Marslin, Jade, and Gwynton hurry to the temple and find Bishop and an unknown female fighting these beasts and help bring them down. Bishop informs the group of what the priest has said and tells them that they need to go gather the ingredients. After a short rest, the group heads out of town, led by the scout Jade Fire. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue the adventures of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we will see you in the dungeon.